Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Nairobi teacher here guys, it's been a while. I know, almost four days that I haven't been here. I have uh, been dealing with some uh, things here and there, personal, yeah? I've been doing some things personal. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much and every person who reached me out and uh, they wanted to find out how I'm doing, where am I? especially uh, through whatsapp i really really appreciate that love and support guys it really means a lot to me like really a lot yeah so yeah i'm back and guys uh the streets are hot like really hot so i think i missed a, a few things here and there i remember the last reaction that i was doing i was uh, talking about the virginia and maro feud which was happening when Marwa was, uh, uh, you know, in uh, Malawi, I think, where this uh, South African lady who had hosted the Virginia wanted him to, you know, like uh, that host wanted Marwa to come and uh, so that they can host Marwa in uh, South Africa. But uh, Marwa refused, of course. Yeah, he refused and he called that lady that she's a reactor and he doesn't want reaction, uh, reaction channels. Anyway, we know that uh, that was not the reason. Like I said earlier, it's just because David Junior was there. All right. That is the only reason why he did that. Anyway, guys, Marwa came uh, guns blazing on David Junior and he wanted, uh, he, he, he was, uh, you know, like uh, requesting or begging reactors to stop using his mom on their videos and uh, saying that at least people uh despite the fact that you do not respect them but at least you should respect their mom of which you know the mom is a public figure the mom is on public social media and social media where if you are here people are going to react people are going to talk like the only way you can solve that is if you get your mom off this social media that is the only way that uh, people can stop talking about your mom. Otherwise, people will talk. They are, she's there to be talked about because whenever she posts, people will say, people will comment. Even in her videos, we have people who are commenting there. All right. The only difference between those people that are commenting and those people that are making video while commenting or doing a commentary video is that these ones are getting paid for it. These ones, it's a profession like me, you know. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, David Junior uh, was one of those people that was accused by actually one of Marwa's subscriber, and uh, he said that David Junior is also part of those people that are misusing or that are using the mom to generate views. And Marwa went and backed up that comment and said, "Yeah, David Junior is also one of the people who disrespect the family." All right, but guys, is this really about the mom? Is this really about the mom? Is like really Marwa? I know, I know, I know. You you said uh, you always watch me, which is a good thing. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, at least I have a subscriber with a 500k who watches me every single day when I post. Yo. So, <laughs> Marwa uh, decided to, you know, back that comment up and say, yeah. David Junior is also one of those people. But we all know that... That has nothing to do with the mom. It's just nothing to do with the mom. It's nothing to do with the Virginia disrespecting the mom. This is purely motivated by coming back at the Virginia. You know, he said the Virginia disrespects the family, makes video that disrespects the family. I think that he was referring to such videos like the reaction video, the so-called reaction video. That it was an interview, but Marwa termed it as a reaction. You know, Marwa wants like whatever Marwa terms it, that is how it is, okay? So Marwa termed it as a reaction video. So I think that video, he said, the Virginia disrespects the family. <laughs> One of the people who makes video that disrespects the family. He was referring to that video that he made in, in South Africa. And because he did not recognize marwa at all even in that video when he was in south africa so that's one of the reasons why the video uh, marwa decided to comment on that but now guys david jr has come out strongly to tell marwa to shut up like marwa shut up you can't tell me what to do you can't say <laughs> you can't stop me from doing videos with my mom of which we know it has nothing to do with the mom. This is just their pure sibling rivalry or whatever you want to call it. Call it that way. But guys, for me, it's it's really hard. It's really hard for me to pick any of these ones. You know why? Because 
these bananas right here, yeah, directly from the farms, very, directly from the farms, very organic. These are kills of Sukumawiki in the U.S. They call cola the slippery of the tank and right there there's maize or corn which is the stable food that we have here in the village it's um united and also i want to be giving an apology to one of my hosts or my south african family um a few days ago something really happened in which i wasn't happy about that so on this video i want to be giving a special apology to them so i hope my my apology will be accepted so we're heading this has been very supportive to me congrats mom always on the front line you know and for me nothing will ever stop me to take care of my mom nothing whatsoever whatsoever you know and uh, i feel like i'm beyond uh responding to such allegations because I don't want to give my energy to negativity, honestly. But for those who don't like me, man, I don't know what to say. Ooh, some kids, they are playing here. You know what that matters in this life? Like, Davy, man, my mama, I love my mom so much, so much, so much. If you are not happy in whatever I'm doing for my mom, please shut up, all right? <sighs> When you look at David Jr., um, David Jr. has really made a lot for himself. You know, Marwa stopped supporting David Jr. when David Jr. was almost 10k subscribers, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I was following them, guys. I was following them, so I know. And we have those subscribers who've just joined recently and they had. David Jr. was supported by Marwa to open a YouTube channel and they're like, no. Okay, guys, David Jr. has built his empire on his own. Despite the fact that Marwa, of course, Marwa stepped in because Marwa is the one who first, like, introduced him on YouTube. All right, but all the success that David Jr. has made, it's not Marwa, it's David Jr. himself who has done it for himself with making his boring videos, of course, as usual. All right, but his boring videos has earned him his own personal audience because, guys, the reason why people should stop pressing David Jr., people should stop calling David Jr. ungrateful, guys, David Jr. has been getting. 15,000, 20,000, 30,000 views in his videos ever since, right? He's been getting that. Now, we all know what Marwa does to people who do not want to recognize him. We all know what Marwa does to Marwa's Ungrateful Association, you know, being led by... Actually, I thought I'm the leader of the Marwa's Ungrateful Association, but no, the list is endless, the list is big. In the Marwa's Ungrateful Association, I, I thought I'm the first one, but no, whoa, no, 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 I was wrong. Like, I didn't figure out very well. I think the first person in the Marwa's Ungrateful Association was David Jr., followed by Fellow the Boy, then Nairobi Teacher, and then others. The type, the likes of Alex, Strongman, and all that. The list is endless in the Marwa's Ungrateful Association. If we now decide to register the organization, ah, we can be big and we can, eh, you know, <laughs> we can even get funded by the government, Marwa's Ungrateful Association. All right. Enough of that. Kung Fu Fanta is actually the one who said that, and I, and I felt like, yeah, it has a ring to it, you know, like Marwa's Ungrateful Association. Moose, in short, moose. So, Devi, Marwa, we know him very well for telling people to go and unsubscribe to channels that he feels like those channels do not do what he wants or the, the owners of those, those channels are not worshipping him. The owners of those, of those channels are not bowing down to him. The owners of those channels are not waking up and praising him in each and every single video that, that he makes. You know, you want to please Marwa every single day you wake up before you do a video, Marwa. Marwa is a good guy. Marwa is the only person in this village. Marwa is the only person in the world who is making changes. Marwa is the only guy. You know, you know how it goes. If you fail to do that, you become ungrateful. If you challenge some of his wrong decisions, you become ungrateful. If you challenge one of his minions that worship him, you become ungrateful. So, why Marwa 
why I personally feel like Marwa has no influence in the in the Virginia's channel at all. You know why? Because all those people that are watching the Virginia could have stopped watching if those people came from Marwa directly. So I don't think it has nothing to do with Marwa. That is just David Jr. with his own subscribers. Because most of the people that are supporting David Jr., they do not support Marwa. And most of the people that support Marwa do not support David Jr. I'm not saying that they do not have similar subscribers. Even me, I have similar subscribers to Marwa. I have people who are watching me and then they watch Marwa. They are subscribed to Marwa. They are subscribed to Dimonga. They are subscribed to David Jr. Because the audience is the same, yeah? So, just that the majority of the people who watch David Jr., they like David Jr. for who he is. And the majority of the people that watch Marwa, they love Marwa for he, who he is, despite the fact that they have also subscribed to the other one. Alright? So, Marwa has no that influence to tell people, go and stop supporting my brother. And also, he understand, you know, of all the people that he's told, you know, go and answer, you know, he's made a lot of lies about us people, like, hey, the, the moose, the moose, the Marwa's Ungrateful Association, the moose. Marwa always makes a video about a moose who quits from being his member. He always makes a live about it. But he's never ever dedicated his life to his brother, like from beginning to the end, about his brother. And tell people that they should go to unsubscribe. Why? Because he knows that people will realize of how a narcissist he is. You know, it's easy to cast stones on an outsider than your own family member. But has David Jr. ever shied talking and discrediting Maro in public? Never. And he's never been afraid of doing that. Never ever. Do you know why? Because he knows that Marwa is this controversial person. Marwa is this person that everybody, most people know his narcissistic character. So he doesn't shun away from also flowing with the vibe, you know. Like whenever people are throwing stones at Marwa, he goes with the vibe, you know. Like, okay, in, in, some, in some way... I can say that in some way, the Virginia is a cloud chaser. You know, he, he likes saying that he's not a cloud chaser, but yo, he rides on Marwa's failures. He rides on discrediting his brother so that he drives traffic on his channel. And it's working out for him. He's smart. You know? So he knows what he's doing. He knows that controversy that he's creating. He knows what it will bring on his table. Okay? So the Virginia is not a fool. He knows what he's doing. Even when he responded to that, he even went ahead and apologized to the OJ's family on behalf, not on behalf, just to make Marwa look dumb. You know, like he apologized to the OJ's family because of how Marwa talked to them. Why do you think David Jr. did that? Why do you think he did that? Strategic, man. He's strategic. He knows when he does that, he will be the bigger person. And Marwa will look like a dwarf. Oh no. <laughs> Marwa will look dumb. You know? So these guys are here painting each other. You know like, yo. Eh, now it's family drama. Marwa is painting the Virginia to be this ungrateful brat. And the Virginia is painting Marwa to be this narcissist, egoistic individual who thinks like he's without him, nobody else will ever make money on earth. So he's there to put that picture on Marwa. And Marwa is there to put that ungrateful picture on David Jr. And, okay, in, in some way, because of the Marwa influence, you know, Marwa has a lot of influence, yeah? Especially his subscribers. Oh my, he has a lot of influence. So most of his subscribers, they go to David Jr., call him ungrateful. Like, if you see the last two videos that David Jr. has done, it has come out with a lot of negative comments about him, calling him ungrateful, you ungrateful brat. And you know one thing is that these people that are calling David Jr. ungrateful are those people that just joined YouTube recently and discovered Marwa recently and they started watching Marwa recently and they know David Jr. is Marwa's brother. Maybe they started a year ago, two years ago. They don't know how far David Jr. has come on his, like, on his own. He's come, the guy, come on. Okay, that is the problem. Guys, I'm telling you, there is nothing as bad as being 
under someone's shadow because uh, if you're a brother to a celebrity and you become a celebrity people will always credit your brother for that if your parent is a, is a wealthy no matter how hard you how how hard you work people will never ever credit you for you people will always say it's because of his parent it's because of his background anyway we all know that people with better backgrounds 90% of those people they usually succeed okay if you if you're raised from a very good background the, and you're also you know you also have brains we have people who have been raised in very successful backgrounds but when how if you see how they live they live very very miserable lives like really literally miserable lives so it also depends with these people i like are you do you want to embarrass your family name or do you want to you know like merit we have others who merit who like their merit is successfully dependent on that on their parents their siblings and all that and we have others whose success is their own making but it will never be credited to them it will always be credited to the family members who have already made it which is the same exact thing that is happening to david jr and the fact that david jr he's making a name for himself people feel like or they judge it and call him ungrateful because he does not recognize his brother all right and like dimwango anyway guys I, i've seen that dimwango has slightly stopped praising marwa you know dimwango was also one of those people that was crediting marwa in every video you know guys without my brother i couldn't be here and all that nonsense you know okay yeah it's him we know that now stop it it's him he brought you here but what he did is 10 percent you did 90 percent guys it's like uh you know educators as you all know i'm an educator there is no way a teacher should claim a hundred percent of the child's success no 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 in fact a teacher is supposed to claim 25 percent of the child's success in education do you know why if you are a teacher and you come and you teach and you finish and you leave and that kid has no interest in getting whatever you are teaching them they will not get it no matter how hard you work how early you wake up every single day with your piece of chalk with your blackboard and whatever and your books and your notes and your lectures if they don't want to get it they won't get it so all you will be doing will be zero but it's the willingness of the child to learn what he or she is being taught and apply that towards their own success that is how they become successful but it's not entirely teachers no teachers are just there to guide and lead as these ones follow the guidance of the teacher from their own heart guys i have had kids that i have taught and uh, i felt like okay this one there is nothing that we can do about it because this child that 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 kid um it's just uh, actually even now as we're speaking right now he just roams around uh, yeah like he was to finish up to, uh he was to finish high school last year but right now he's uh some dreaded kids here and there like we meet we meet on the roadside and uh he's like teacher Barry, teacher hi and uh sometimes when he sees me he runs away he hides why because like i kept on advising him kept on talking to him and i'm like you know this path that you're going is not a good path but it 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 came to a point where teachers just like all teachers just gave up on him you know why because we tried bringing him close we tried talking to him we tried everything we tried counseling we tried taking him to the police station so that he, at least he can be afraid and at least take education seriously he never like he really never wanted it like he would come to school tomorrow the following day he will not he comes to after two days three days he will not come to school school day has five days so he'll come two days three days out 
just like that continuously and it it became at a point where we felt like okay now this guy he's starting to influence the others negatively so we decided we called a meeting with the parent and the school board members and the teachers and we agreed like now this guy it's time for him to leave the school like we had to expel him because now he was starting to influence the other kids negatively showing them that you can come to school whenever you want you can talk to a teacher whenever you want because like teachers don't care again like you do the homework they don't punish you so yeah like it it you know like when you punish a child so much it 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 becomes like they they take they take it as a, it's a routine so they just do something wrong because they know at the end of it all I'll be punished no biggie no biggie like they get used to it so it became to a point where we said okay let's not punish him let's just leave him let's just let him be let's just you know adopt him the way he is but now the problem with adopting him adopting him the way he was is that he was creating a lot of bad negative influence on the other kids we had to send him away like okay now when he went to another school he didn't last that school for two months because our school we were so tolerant we were so tolerant we were so understanding we we stood we like we stood with him for almost four years the where he went two months he was out just away he went to another I think it, he lasted six months just away and he refused to now going to school. Right now he's just roaming around the streets. While the colleagues, he met the colleagues, they are learned. They finished high school last year. They are going to college, I think this year, September. They're going to college. Anyway, um, what I'm just trying to say is this. Marwa should learn to avoid taking credit for everything. We should also give these creators credit. David Jr., you, yes, you introduced him to YouTube. But if he wanted to quit that YouTube immediately after you introduced him, he could have quitted and you wouldn't be getting all this credit. But it's because he was willing to learn, willing to understand more, willing to push himself harder. That's where, that's why he is where he is. How many people have, have you, Marwa, you, you yourself, started their YouTube channel and they are nowhere. And right now, as we're speaking, they are barely getting a thousand views. They are barely getting two thousand views. They are completely nowhere to be seen. How many channels have you started? How many channels have you shouted out? And as we are speaking right now, they are barely surviving. Look at somebody like Maja K.E. Guys, let me give you an example of Maja K.E. Maja K.E. was doing very fantastically well. He was doing very well. And I'm, I'm just, okay, guys, like, that is also one of the things that really, 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 you know, like, guys, it's it's not cool. Like, Mar, Maja, Maja just disappeared, just like that. Right now, he's barely getting a thousand views. Like, what is happening? What is happening? Where did Maja go to? Yeah. Look at Nasto. He's doing fantastically well. Look at Mayugno. He is, you know, he was doing very well. But then, but then things happened. Look at Sergio. Sergio was doing fantastically well. He was doing very well, getting 4,000, 5,000 views. Guys, he was beating me by four times. Look at him now. The last three videos that he's created, they are struggling to get 1,000 subscribers. Anyway, for Sergio, he just dug that hole himself because he supported the wrong tree. And when it backfired on him, it's hitting him harder. Now, at least he understands what it means to struggle. And what it means being real, you know, being real, being real costs. And for you to get back up there, you have to go through a lot. <laughs> hey, hey. And uh, it, it's still, it's still, I'm, I'm still hoping he will come back with, you know, changing the name of uh, Senior Never Lies to something authentic, something genuine, and do some genuine content other than scripting the accidents and all that, you know. So we have guys. It is a matter of, yes, I have introduced you to YouTube, okay? What are you, we have some students who even do much better than their own teachers, okay? 
so anyway what i was uh, what i'm uh, let me just summarize this video because i'm even going into other details that i had not even planned to 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 say and go and do and whatever so what i'm saying is this marwa it's high time he stops calling the virginia ungrateful just let him do his own thing because that is what he set up to do his own thing let him be successful on his own avoid talking about him it may it's making you look like dumb honestly because yeah this is a very very young brother of yours like very young brother you don't have to be fighting with him on the internet can't you guys fight away or maybe the Anyway, you never know. Maybe the drama is the one that is driving traffic again. Who knows? Maybe it's something that they have scripted as a family. Anyway, thank you guys so much. And I really missed you too, guys. So I want to say that uh, I really appreciate your support, guys. And uh, thank you for watching this video up to this point. I really, really do not take you for granted. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.